difference between your closed basket weave and open basket weave is that you're not allowed any tape in there. About two, about finger width away, so two strips of tape literally have to go in the centre. So this is what it looks like, and you can't put underwrap on it either. So, alright, so we put our anchors. So just be careful of that. Okay, now do your basket weave. See how low I'm starting? Mm. A lot of these are missing that, that you're not starting that low. Obviously, if it was a lateral angle spin, I'd be going the opposite way, so just bear that in mind as well. So this guy that went over on his ankle on the pitch, he's not able to continue playing. We've got him into the dressing room and you're trying to strap this up before the swelling gets in. Foot. Which oftentimes is immediately, isn't it? So don't forget the game is still going on and you still have to look after the whole 15 players on the pitch as well. So you can see why I'm getting a picture of why I don't do it this way. So you measure then out. Around. So. so place your two strips then right in the center. Obviously this should be with the same. So, two strips are nice and neat in the front of the ankle. Now, so that's our open basket weave. Then what we do is get our heel and lace pads, or felt. Felt is probably better because it's a lot thicker. And we put two of them, one underneath that ankle, and one underneath this. It's called an inverted U, okay? Basically, the reason why you see the pocket there, that's where the swelling goes. So we need to have something in there to stop the swelling getting in there. So that's what we call an inverted you wrapping around on both sides so you need two of them and you have these ready in your bag and then just an ordinary bandage wrap it up okay the reason behind that is that we want that swelling to actually lodge into here not here so sometimes in the middle of the night the player might have to just take this off and go oh the relief of that because all the swelling is going to build up in here now once we get it in there it's easy to pump it out of there it's when it gets into the, the pockets here takes days to get out, sometimes weeks. So that's, you know, initially how you get that, stop that swelling as fast as possible, getting into those areas is the key for a quicker recovery from players with ankles. So make sure that you have the inverted U. So what I do technically, so quickly, I would just have my inverted U's ready, player comes off the pitch, yeah, now you have to continue playing, I have to wait for and right, let's get them off, I will have them there, bang, two inverted U's straight onto it, and I will compress from here around as, as tightly as possible. Okay? Instead of doing that. Instead of doing this. Because this is a non-weight bearing strapping. So this guy's on crutches, you know, as well. So, but look, look at the time it takes me to do that. The game could be still going on and I'm going to have to watch the game as well. But the other thing is, don't forget, at the end of the game, you could have this guy having to do this. You could have about a hamstring, a shoulder, at the end of the game so there's so much going on that it's great if you had time just to spend with one player it'd be great but you're going to have three or four different injuries maybe possibly that you have to deal with you know some more serious than this so you tend to have to look at time management have I got the time to do this or do I have to do something a little bit quicker that's still effective so speaking of that when we treat that's it when we 